There's just so much happening in the tech and AI space at the moment, it's just hard to understand one AI tool before the next one comes out. It almost feels like everyone's talking about groundbreaking developments in AI and we're just nodding along. Well, worry not, because today we're going to catch you up on seven mind-blowing AI advancements that went down this week. We've got robots, avatars, and even super intelligent machines. Welcome to Who is ML? First up, imagine playing chess without moving a piece or even being in the same room. Welcome to the world of embodied VR chess. There are these crazy robots and they're both being controlled by humans wearing VR headsets and feedback gloves. They can see and feel everything the robot does. It's that movie Surrogates. Remember, the one with Bruce Willis? Where people use highly realistic and customizable robotic avatars that to interact with the world while remaining at home. But in real life, these robot avatars aren't just playing chess, they can perform maintenance in dangerous areas like nuclear or space, perform rescue operations or assist in disaster relief. Pretty much anything human hands and eyes can do. Can you imagine watching an MMA fight with robots controlled by human fighters? UFC Robot Wars Edition? All right, now take a deep breath because we're moving from BattleBots to a robot chef. And guess what? This robo chef learned to cook just by watching videos. I know, I know, some of us have been watching cooking shows for years and still can't boil an egg, me included. But this chef bot could soon be flipping burgers at your local burger joint. Bon appetit. Moving on to something a bit more intellectual. Meet HeyGen, the new plugin in ChatGPT. It lets you create an avatar of the text ChatGPT produces. And by combining it with another plugin called Wolfram, it can even solve mathematical problems and generate explainer videos. It's like having a personalized robot tutor that breaks down complex math problems and makes learning fun. This will revolutionize the way we all learn. It is borderless, multilingual, and free. Also, it satisfies the four predominant learning styles, visual, auditory, read-write, and kinesthetic. Next time you're struggling with math homework or struggling helping the kids with their homework, just ask ChatGPT for a little help. What are your thoughts? Comment below. Now let's talk about some sci-fi level video editing. Runway Gen 2. Imagine if you could turn any text into a video. Runway Gen 2 is trying to make that a reality. Still in its early stages, this technology might someday help us create movie-like videos just by typing out the script. A Hollywood studio on your laptop. If you like us to create an in-depth video about Runway Gen 2 with prompt tricks, hit that like button. Share the video. Let's get to 100 likes for this small channel. Love your support. Zooming in on the tech nerd side, there's this paper that's breaking barriers. So, large language models, or LLMs for short, are like these big brains with super cool abilities. But here's the catch. They're usually so massive that they can't fit into everyday gadgets like our phones or laptops. They use this thing called Sparse Quantized Representation, or SPQR. Essentially, SPQR intelligently identifies the important parts of the large language models and retains them in high quality. The rest of the model is compressed to much smaller sizes. These brainiacs found a way to compress big AI language models, making them work on small devices like iPhones or tablets. This means that we could have huge AI models like Llama or Falcon running on something as small as an iPhone. Not only that, but they also sped up the output by 15 to 20 percent. It's literally insane at the pace of this technology at the moment. Okay, let's talk meta. They might be bringing AI assistance to apps like WhatsApp and Instagram. Imagine an AI buddy helping you keep up with all the memes and group chats. In one way, it increases your productivity, but also has the potential to create more spam or scams, for example, Facebook Marketplace. Let's wait and see how Facebook tackles these challenges. Mark Zuckerberg has provided a word of caution saying we need to be careful about how much independence we give these AI systems. Like imagine if they just started doing whatever they wanted. He compares it to a virus simple but can spread and do harm. So it's essential to have some control over these super smart systems. But not too sure about this billionaire's opinion given the fact that he sells our data to advertisers. Or what about the power to influence and spread misinformation via these social media AI propelled algorithms? Zuckerberg also touched upon the concept of superintelligence. He tried to compare it to a corporation, but let's be real. Superintelligence would be like a corporation on steroids and then some. Think of AlphaGo, an AI that's revolutionizing things at a mind-boggling speed. For example, AlphaGo made a discovery that could speed up sorting small sequences by 70%. That's like taking years of work and squishing it into milliseconds. It's like when you procrastinate all semester and then cram the night before an exam. Except AlphaGo actually gets it right. Now, super intelligence isn't just about being fast, it's about being so much smarter than humans that it's scary, like, we're talking about AI that could outthink us all and possibly take over the world. But let's not get into the apocalypse just yet. 
So that's the crazy world of AI, where chess-playing robots, robot chefs, and super intelligence are not just figments of our imagination, but a reality that's unfolding before our eyes. Thanks for joining me on this wild ride. Smash that like and consider subscribing to Who is ML. Elevate your tech game. Till next time.